Hello there, welcome back on the drive along. We are in Guernsey in the Channel Islands. Welcome to the channel. Uh, if you've been before, welcome back. If you're new, this channel is all about Guernsey. And in today's drive along, we are starting at the parish of uh, St. Martin's. And we are heading to Petit Bow Bay. So we've got a fairly standard drive along. And the bit which I think is different to the rest of the roads is when we get closer to Petit Bow, because it's really different. It's not like these roads, so make sure you stay around to the end because it's a good bit at the end towards the end of the drive along. So we're currently heading uh, towards the forest parish of the forest. And if you're interested in knowing how to get to Petit Port Bay, if you're visiting the island, this drive along may help because uh, if you can find yourself in the parish of St Martin's then you can just do this route um, pro probably an easier way if you're visited the island is to find the Trellard Hotel and go from there depending which end you come from but um, this is where I'm coming from so we're going to pass the Trellard Hotel in a minute it's just there on the left so if you were staying at the Trellard Hotel, this is going to be brilliant. If not, if you can find it and just drive along, it's, it's not hard to find. You just stay on this main road, then you basically stay straight until you just turn left. And that's it, and you follow it on down. So um, we got, yeah, it's a really nice one. I did a video actually when I was at Petit Bow Bay, and I filmed this at the same time. So I thought it would be interesting to have a look at the drive. Because uh, once you turn off this main road, and you start driving you actually drive down this like tight little lane but it's beautiful and it goes down it's a downhill all the way down and there's a few houses dotted along there's like some lovely views it's really really tranquil I'll, I'll describe it as um, if you are new to this channel you can think about subscribing if you want to see more stuff all about Guernsey and even if you've been before and you haven't subscribed think about subscribing because we've got a lot of great stuff coming up all dedicated to Guernsey and uh, if you do think you get any value out of this video you can let me know by giving it a thumbs up always appreciated so we're driving along Forest Road just gone past Forest Road garage um, by the way this is actually the way to the airport as well if you carried on past the road we're going to turn down you'd end up at the airport it's, this is Petit Bow turning the road is literally two minutes from the airport so it's that end if that helps at all so we're heading up towards some traffic lights the Shane traffic lights got a few cyclists here can I get round them that's the big question when you drive in Guernsey can you get round them there you go I would recommend uh, visiting Petit Bow Bay. So when we get there, I'm just going to take you right down to the bay. And you'll see the kiosk as well. Just by uh, the, the turning is just by Forest Stores. Really nice shop. few roadworks here and just on the uh, left is the deer hound okay there for food so it's coming up soon so this is how you get to Petit Bow Bay As I mentioned before, if you carried on, the airport's like a minute away. So we're going to turn left here. So this is the turning you want to take. It's got a bit of signage there. It says to Petit Bow. Obviously, if you're coming the other way, if you just pass the airport on your left, this turning's about a minute from there. So you, know, you get an idea of coming here both ways. This is the nice bit of the drive along, I think. It's not somewhere I go much. In fact, it's not anywhere you drive 
down because there's nothing down here apart from Petty Bow Bay and obviously if you live here you'd come down here but it's not a road you see a lot of traffic because it, it doesn't take you anywhere if you know what I mean so um, I don't know if you can tell but there's a it's a downward hill it's a decline and you can just take your time down here and enjoy the scenery as we cruise on down um, you can possibly meet cars I couldn't actually remember if it was two way but I think this is two way let's carry on down this is a beautiful part of Guernsey really feel like you're just getting off the main road and you're going somewhere quite special it takes you down a valley and when you get there you can have refreshments at the kiosk at the Petty Bow Bay kiosk you'll notice a few houses dotted around here and there a uh, really nice location I'm driving very slow I'm just basically just rolling down the hill I was trying to go nice and slow because I wanted to capture the nice views and as we go around to the right there's a hotel here which I always forget about the Manor Hotel then we carry on down to the left there's a bit of parking on the left of the car park for the hotel um, it's not a hotel I ever really go to or um, know much about really it's sort of tucked away if you've ever stayed there let me know I'll be interested to know what you think how relaxing is this if you've ever been down this road let me know there's quite a bit of activity down there surprising as you think there's no one going to be here but a lot of people seem to find this place lovely trees it is, it is very tranquil and there's a few houses here well, I think there's one house here on the left great location wow lovely Um, what I will just mention as we go down is that um, the parking is limited down here and you'll see what I mean when we get there there's not a lot I had to drive around a few times to park um, but you know you normally can find a space somewhere I always sort of forget how long this drive is how long the road goes on this one I always think it's shorter than what it is another house there just dotted quite a big one on the right I mean you can just see how nice it would be walking around here uh, just stunning tranquil relaxing I mean, if you come down here, you don't have to drive quite this slow, but I was driving extra slow because I was in no rush. Oh, you've come across another little house there on the left. A cottage. So we're going down all the time. The whole time we turned down this road, we're slowly descending into the valley. I'd imagine it's okay cycling down, but uh, cycling back up may be another story. 
Yeah, you can imagine it. Especially if, if you've had something to eat. So we're coming up to the little bay, Petty Bow Bay. I'm going to show you around a little bit. So we go round to the right here. There's our little house on the left. I spoke about my walk along I did around here. You recognise little house there. So I'm going to turn down here. So this little bit is one way, so you can only go down this way. Quite a tight little bit, but I can get down. So the Petit Bow Tea Rooms is on the right. And Petit Bow Bay is straight in front, can you see? There's Petit Bow Tea Rooms on the right. So there's people sat in there. Really nice. If you want to go down to Petit Bow Bay, there's a little slipway just on the left there. Can you see right in front of the screen now? You can see there's people coming out. Uh, quite a lot of activities going on down there. So by the way, if you do want to see uh, the walk along I did down here, I'll leave a link uh, in the description for the walk along and I can actually go down that beach, okay? So you can see a bit more detail. And see there's a bit of parking, but not an awful lot. So um, just be, you know, be careful if you'll be weary when you come down here. You may not be able to park uh, straight away. You can always do a few laps around. Well, there you go. I'll we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. Click the screen to watch our video. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.